Sally Field is an esteemed actress who has made a significant impact in the television and film industry for over 50 years. She began her career on television, appearing in popular comedies such as Gidget, The Flying Nun, and The Girl with Something Extra. Through her exceptional talent and dedication, Field has since become a two-time Oscar and Emmy Award winner, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. Sally Field made her film debut in the 1962 movie, Moon Pilot. Since then, she has enjoyed a long and successful career in the film industry, appearing in a wide variety of movies that have showcased her versatility and talent as an actress. In the 1960s, Field appeared in films such as The Way West and Stay Hungry. In the 1970s, she became a household name with her role in the popular comedy Smokey and The Bandit. She continued to work consistently throughout the 1980s and 1990s with notable roles in movies such as Mistress Doubtfire, Steel Magnolias, and Forrest Gump. Field has demonstrated her range as an actress, taking on both comedic and dramatic roles with equal skill. She has worked with some of the most respected directors in the industry and has been recognized for her talent with numerous awards and nominations. Despite being in the industry for over six decades, Field has shown no signs of slowing down. She continues to work consistently, taking on challenging roles and earning critical acclaim for her performances. Her longevity in the industry is a testament to her talent and dedication as an actress. In the early 2000s, Sally Field made a return to television after a long absence, starting with a recurring role in the popular medical drama. Her portrayal of Maggie Wigzenski, a love interest for Dr. Mark Green, earned her critical acclaim and proved that she was still a formidable talent in the acting world. Following her stint in Er, Field took on a leading role in ABC's Brothers and Sisters, which aired from 26 to 2011. She played Nora Walker, the matriarch of the wealthy Walker family, who struggled to keep her family together amidst personal and professional crises. Field's nuanced and heartfelt performance resonated with audiences and earned her two Primetime Emmy Award nominations. In recent years, Field has continued to grace both the big and small screens. In 2012, she appeared in the superhero blockbuster The Amazing Spider-Man as Aunt May, a role she reprised in the 2014 sequel. Her portrayal of the character was both warm and grounded, providing a stark contrast to the film's action-packed sequences. In 2015, Field starred in Hello, My Name is Doris, a comedy drama about a woman in her 60s who falls in love with a much younger man. Her performance was praised for its vulnerability and humor, earning her a nomination for the Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Actress in a Comedy. Most recently, Field appeared in the 2018 Netflix limited series Maniac, alongside Emma Stone and Jonah Hill. She played Dr. Greta Mantelray, a quirky and eccentric therapist who specializes in unconventional treatments. Field's performance added a touch of whimsy and charm to the otherwise dark and surreal series. Throughout her long and storied career, Sally Field has proven time and time again that she is a talented and versatile actress capable of tackling a wide range of roles with grace and nuance. Her contributions to the world of television and film are cherished by fans and industry professionals alike, and she continues to be a captivating presence on screens both big and small. In February 2023, Sally Field's latest film, 80 for Brady, is set to hit theaters worldwide. This sports comedy, produced by Tom Brady, has sparked renewed interest in the accomplished actress. At this stage in her career, Field continues to captivate audiences with her powerful performances and undeniable talent. Sally Field has enjoyed a prolific career in the spotlight, with numerous memorable roles in film, television, and on stage. Over the years, she has become a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, and her fans are eager to see what she has in store for them in this new comedy. Reflecting on her impressive body of work, it's easy to see why Sally Field has remained a fixture in the entertainment industry for so long. From her early roles in television shows like Gidget and The Flying Nun to her iconic performances in films like Norma Ray and Steel Magnolias, Field has consistently delivered standout performances that have left a lasting impact on audiences. Throughout her career, Field has demonstrated her versatility as an actress, taking on a wide range of roles and genres. She has played everything from a steelworker fighting for her rights to a grieving mother seeking justice for her daughter 
to a group of quirky Southern women navigating the ups and downs of life. Despite the many challenges she has faced throughout her career, Sally Field has always remained true to herself and her craft. She has never been afraid to take risks and push herself as an actress in her dedication and passion for her work have earned her numerous accolades and awards. As Sally Field prepares to debut her latest film, fans can't help but feel a renewed sense of excitement and anticipation. With her undeniable talent and enduring appeal, there's no doubt that Field will continue to captivate audiences for years to come. Whether she's making us laugh, cry, or think, one thing is for sure Sally Field is a true treasure in the world of entertainment. Sally Field has had a remarkable career in Hollywood, spanning over five decades. She first gained recognition in the 1960s for her role in the TV show Gidget. And since then, she has become a beloved actress known for her versatility and talent. Throughout her career, Field has taken on a variety of roles, showcasing her range as an actress. From her early days on television to her more recent film roles, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. One of Field's most iconic roles was in the 1980s film Places in the Heart, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her portrayal of a widow struggling to keep her family farm afloat resonated with audiences and cemented her status as a talented and respected actress. In addition to her work in film and television, Field has also been an advocate for various causes, using her platform to raise awareness and make a difference. She has been a vocal supporter of women's rights and has worked to promote awareness of ovarian cancer. Despite her many accomplishments, Field remains humble and down to earth. In interviews, she often speaks candidly about her experiences in Hollywood and the lessons she has learned along the way. A look through photos of Field's career reveals a woman who is not only talented and accomplished, but also warm, funny, and relatable. Whether she is on the red carpet or behind the scenes, Field always seems to be herself, never taking herself too seriously and always ready with a smile. In reflecting on Sally Field's career, it is clear that she is a true Hollywood legend. Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft have earned her a place in the hearts of audiences around the world. Sally Field, a renowned actress, was born on November 6, 1946, in Pasadena, California. She was welcomed into the world by her parents, Margaret Field and Richard Dryden Field. Margaret Field, Sally's mother, was an actress best known for her roles in science fiction films. Richard Dryden Field, Sally's father, was an army veteran. From an early age, Sally Field was exposed to the world of acting through her mother, which would later shape her successful career in the industry. Sally Field's parents divorced in 1950 when she was quite young. After the divorce, her mother, Margaret Field, found love again and got remarried to Jack Mahoney, a Hollywood stuntman and actor. However, this new living situation was far from ideal for Sally Field. During her childhood and teenage years, Field has revealed that she endured psychological, verbal, and sexual abuse at the hands of her stepfather, Mahoney. The abuse left deep scars on Field, affecting her both personally and professionally. Despite the challenges she faced, Field found solace in acting and used it as a means to escape the harsh realities of her home life. As she grew older, Field became more vocal about the abuse she suffered, shedding light on the darker aspects of her upbringing. Her courage in sharing her story has inspired many others to speak out about their own experiences with abuse and has helped to raise awareness about the issue. Through it all, Field has remained a resilient and talented actress, known for her memorable roles in films such as Norma Ray, Steel Magnolias, and Forrest Gump. Her ability to overcome the adversity she faced in her childhood and teenage years is a testament to her strength and determination. Sally Field found solace in extracurricular activities during her tumultuous upbringing, which was marked by her stepfather's abuse. Among the activities she participated in were drama and cheerleading, which provided her with an escape from her difficult home life. Although Field had some experience in acting while she was in high school, her professional acting career did not truly take off until 1965. It was in this year that she was cast in the title role of the sitcom Gidget, which marked the beginning of her successful career in the entertainment industry. 
Sally Field's career as an actress took off with her role in the TV show Gidget, which was not an immediate success. The series only lasted for one season, but summer reruns helped it gain a larger audience and became a belated hit. Following Gidget, Field was cast in the ABC series The Flying Nun at the age of 21, where she played the character of Sister Bertrell. Sally Field gained fame in the late 1960s for her role in the popular television show The Flying Nun. The series, which aired from 1967 to 1970, was a hit with audiences and established Field as a talented actress. However, her success in this role also led to typecasting, which she would later make conscious efforts to overcome. Throughout her career, Field has been recognized for her exceptional acting abilities with numerous awards and accolades. Despite facing typecasting, she has consistently delivered compelling performances that have earned her critical acclaim. In total, Field has received two Academy Awards, among other prestigious honors. Typecasting can be a significant challenge for actors, as they may become pigeonholed into playing certain types of characters. In Field's case, she found herself typecast after her role in The Flying Nun. However, she did not let this limitation define her career. Instead, Field made a deliberate effort to break free from this image and take on more diverse roles. Field's acting career has been marked by a series of memorable performances that have showcased her versatility and talent. From her early roles in television to her more recent work in film, Field has consistently delivered compelling performances that have resonated with audiences. Her ability to bring complex characters to life has earned her a place among the most respected actors in the industry. In addition to her work in film and television, Field has also appeared on stage, further demonstrating her range as an actor. Her dedication to her craft and her willingness to take on new challenges have earned her the admiration of her peers and audiences alike. In conclusion, Sally Field's success in The Flying Nun led to typecasting, but she did not let this limitation define her career. Instead, she made a concerted effort to break free from this image and take on more diverse roles. Her acting career has been adorned with a myriad of awards and accolades, including two Academy Awards in recognition of her exceptional talent and dedication to her craft. Sally Field has earned a great deal of respect in the television industry for her award-winning performances in shows like ER and Brothers and Sisters. Even now, at 76 years old in 2023, she remains just as ambitious and determined as ever. Field's youthful spirit and boundless energy are evident in every role she takes on, and she continues to push herself as an artist. Throughout her long and storied career, Field has always been drawn to complex and challenging characters. In her, she played the tough and resilient nurse Abby Lockhart, a role that earned her two Emmy Awards. Later, in Brothers and Sisters, she took on the role of Nora Walker, the matriarch of a large and complicated family. Once again, Field's nuanced and heartfelt performance earned her widespread acclaim. Despite her many accolades, Field remains humble and grounded. She is known for her warm and approachable personality, and she has always been generous in her support of up-and-coming actors. In interviews, she often speaks of the importance of staying true to oneself and never giving up on one's dreams. As she enters her eighth decade, Field shows no signs of slowing down. She continues to take on new roles and challenges, and she remains a vital and vital force in the world of television. Whether she is playing a tough-as-nails nurse, a loving mother, or a wise and compassionate mentor, Field always brings depth, humanity, and grace to her performances. In short, Sally Field is a true icon of television. Her talent, ambition, and determination have earned her the respect and admiration of fans and colleagues alike. And even now, at 76 years old, she remains just as youthful, ambitious, and determined as ever. Sally Field, a beloved actress, married her high school sweetheart, Steve Craig, in 1968. Their marriage lasted for seven years, during which they welcomed two sons, Peter and Eli, into their family. Both boys followed in their mother's footsteps and pursued careers in Hollywood. Peter Craig, born in 1969, is a successful screenwriter and novelist. He has written for various films, including The Town, Hunger Games sequels, and Bloodfather. Peter's work has earned him recognition and acclaim within the film industry. Eli Craig, born in 1972, is a director and writer 
known for his work in comedy and horror genres. His directorial debut, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, received positive reviews and became a cult classic. Eli continues to make his mark in the entertainment industry, just like his mother. Sally Field's sons have carried on her legacy in their own unique ways, demonstrating their talents in the world of film and television. After Sally Field's divorce from her first husband, Craig Reynolds, in 1975, she chose to focus primarily on her acting career and casually dated around. However, in 1976, she began a relationship with actor Burt Reynolds, which lasted for the next four years. During their time together, Field and Reynolds worked on several film projects, including the smash hit Smokey and The Bandit in 1977. The couple became one of Hollywood's most prominent and well-liked pairs, with their chemistry both on and off-screen evident to all. Despite their strong connection, the relationship was not without its challenges. Both actors had demanding careers, and the pressures of fame and success took a toll on their relationship. Ultimately, the couple decided to part ways in 1980, but they remained friends for many years after their split. In the years following her relationship with Reynolds, Field continued to focus on her acting career, taking on a variety of challenging roles that showcased her versatility and talent. She became an iconic figure in Hollywood, known for her powerful performances and her ability to bring complex characters to life on the big screen. Throughout her career, Field has remained humble and grounded, never losing sight of the things that matter most in life. She has been married to her second husband, Alan Graceman, since 1984, and the couple has three sons together. In conclusion, Sally Field's relationships and romantic life have been an essential part of her journey as an actress and a person. From her early days as a young wife and mother to her high-profile romance with Burt Reynolds and her enduring marriage to Alan Graceman, Field has always approached love and relationships with honesty, vulnerability, and grace. Sally Field, the beloved actress, entered into her second marriage with Alan Graceman in 1984. This union resulted in the birth of their son, Sam, in 1987. However, this marriage, like her first, did not last, and the couple divorced in 1994. In addition to the challenges she faced in her personal life, Field also struggled with mental health issues during the filming of The Flying Nun. She battled depression and an eating disorder, which added to the stresses of her career and personal life. Despite these challenges, Field continued to act and has since become one of the most respected and admired actresses in Hollywood. Her ability to overcome her struggles and continue to thrive in her career is a testament to her strength and determination. Her mental health struggles, while difficult, have not defined her, and she has been able to maintain a successful and fulfilling career in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, Sally Field's second marriage and subsequent divorce, as well as her mental health struggles, have been a significant part of her life and career. Despite these challenges, she has remained a resilient and successful figure in the entertainment industry. Sally Field, a highly respected actress, has always been driven by a strong desire for perfection. This trait has likely contributed to her struggles with mental health throughout her career. In 1977, Field's dedication and talent were recognized when she received her first Emmy Award for her performance in the miniseries of Sybil. In Sybil, Field delivered a powerful and moving portrayal of a woman suffering from multiple personality disorder. Her ability to convincingly embody the different personalities of the character was a testament to her skill as an actress. The role required a great deal of emotional depth and range, and Field rose to the challenge, delivering a captivating and memorable performance. The Emmy win was a significant milestone in Field's career, and it was well-deserved recognition for her talent and hard work. The award was a validation of her abilities as an actress and no doubt boosted her confidence in her craft. Despite the challenges that come with her perfectionism, Field's unwavering dedication to her work has resulted in many memorable and impactful performances. Her ability to fully immerse herself in her roles and deliver authentic and compelling performances has earned her a place as one of the most respected actresses in the industry. In conclusion, Sally Field's first Emmy win for her role in Sybil was a significant moment in her career. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to deliver powerful and moving performances have made her a highly respected figure in the world of acting.
Sally Field, the talented actress, was left feeling enraged when she was snubbed for a Golden Globe nomination for her work in the television movie Sybil in 1977. In protest, she decided to boycott the ceremony. Field's disappointment ran deep as she had put her heart and soul into the portrayal of a woman with multiple personality disorder in Sybil. However, her performance was overlooked, leading to her decision to skip the award ceremony. In addition to the Golden Globe snub, Field's personal life was also going through a rough patch. She was then dating the famous talk show host, Johnny Carson. But their relationship came to an end when Field pretended to be mentally ill and told Carson that she was being sent away for psychiatric treatment. This was a difficult time for Field, both professionally and personally. But she remained strong and continued to pursue her passion for acting, delivering many more memorable performances in the years to come. Despite the setbacks, Field's talent and dedication to her craft have always shone through, earning her a special place in the hearts of her fans. In 1980, Sally Field's career reached new heights when she won her first Academy Award for her role in the film Norma Ray. Her portrayal of a factory worker fighting for better working conditions resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning her a Golden Globe in addition to the Oscar. Field's performance was a powerful one, showcasing her ability to bring depth and nuance to complex characters. Just five years later, in 1985, Field won her second Academy Award for her role in Places in the Heart. In this film, she played a young widow struggling to keep her family's farm afloat during the Great Depression. Once again, Field's performance was praised for its emotional depth and authenticity. At the 1985 Academy Awards, Field made a memorable acceptance speech in which she declared, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. This quote has since become one of Field's most iconic moments, highlighting her relatable and down-to-earth personality. Throughout her career, Sally Field has proven herself to be a talented and versatile actress with a string of memorable performances in films like Steel Magnolias, Mistress Doubtfire, and Forrest Gump. Her ability to bring complex characters to life has made her a beloved figure in the world of cinema. And her iconic quote from the 1985 Academy Award serves as a testament to her enduring appeal. In 1996, Sally Field took on a new role in the film industry as a director. She made her directorial debut with the made-for-TV holiday film The Christmas Tree. This movie showcased a different side of Field's talents and marked a significant milestone in her career. Following her directorial debut, Field returned to television in a guest-starring role on the popular medical drama Earth. Her performance on the show was highly acclaimed, and she won an Emmy at the 53rd Annual Creative Arts Emmy Awards. This recognition further solidified her status as a successful actress and demonstrated her ability to excel in various aspects of the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Sally Field has continued to achieve success on television, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Her contributions to the industry have been significant, and she remains a beloved figure among audiences of all ages. Sally Field won an Emmy in 2007 for her portrayal of Nora Walker in the ABC family drama, Brothers and Sisters. This award-winning role is just one of many highlights in Field's impressive acting career. In Brothers and Sisters, Field played a mature woman who held her family together through various challenges. Her emotional and nuanced performance resonated with audiences and critics alike. The show ran for five seasons, from 2006 to 2011, and Field's character was at the heart of the series. Field's career spans over five decades, and she has played a wide range of roles in film, television, and theater. She has won two Academy Awards for her performances in Norma Ray and Places in the Heart. She has also been nominated for several other Academy Awards and Golden Globes. Field's work has transcended generations and genres. She has played everything from a steelworker in Norma Ray to Mary Todd Lincoln in Lincoln. She has also appeared in popular TV shows such as ER and Netflix's Grace and Frankie. In addition to her acting work, Field is also known for her activism. She has been a vocal advocate for women's rights and has spoken out about issues such as gender equality and reproductive rights. Sally Field's career is a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. From her early roles in TV shows like Gidget 
and the flying nun to her more recent work in film and television. She has left a mark on the entertainment industry. Her Emmy win for Brothers and Sisters is just one of many highlights in a long and distinguished career. Sally Field, a beloved actress with a career spanning over five decades, has consistently delighted audiences with her diverse and compelling performances. With numerous accolades to her name, including two Academy Awards, Field has left an indelible mark on the film industry. While it's important to acknowledge her impressive past achievements, it's equally exciting to look towards the future. Specifically, fans are eagerly anticipating Field's upcoming film, 80 for Brady. This comedy drama, based on a true story, follows four friends in their 80s who embark on a journey to attend the Super Bowl and meet their favorite player, Tom Brady. Field plays one of the leading roles, and her involvement alone has piqued the interest of many. 80 for Brady promises to showcase Field's remarkable talent for capturing the hearts of audiences as she embodies a character navigating the challenges and triumphs of later life. Given her proven ability to bring depth and authenticity to her roles, there's no doubt that Field will deliver a captivating performance in this film. As we await the release of 80 for Brady, it's impossible not to feel a sense of excitement and anticipation. With Sally Field at the helm, this movie is sure to resonate with older audiences and leave a lasting impression. So, mark your calendars and get ready to enjoy another brilliant performance from this iconic actress.